Hey guys, welcome back to Angry Mac Adventures and uh, we're continuing works on the beast, so stay tuned. Well, the engine's starting to look good, guys. We've got most of the wires to the engine in and uh, not long before we start it, but we are waiting on a couple of parts. So in this episode, we are installing the fuel water separation filter kit. So we're gonna take you to the bench now and show you how we prep it up. So just before we get started today, it felt like yesterday I was only saying thank you to you guys for uh, 1,000 subscribers that we hit 2,000 subscribers the other day. I just wanna say thanks for the support. So um, yeah, we'll kick straight into it. An important part for your engine is the fuel system. So we're running a water separating fuel filter. Um, we've also got ourselves a primer and some new fuel lines. So this is just a rated fuel line that you get from Whitworths. And we've also got a couple of clamps. So you pretty much got uh, your housing, which goes on the top. Uh, your filter, uh, this is for two and four stroke outboards. And you've also got your capsule at the bottom so you can release that water. Now, depending on the size of the outboard, you've got two outlets, uh, and depending on your specified hose size, we're gonna be running the bigger ones. So what we're doing at the moment is we just put some uh, thread tape on two bungs because there's two inlets and two outlets. So we just bunged off one inlet and we're bunging off one outlet as well. As you can see there. So these two here are your outlets which come through the filter, which that's why it's blocked off through there. So it comes through this filter here, and then you've got your two inlets, which is where your fuel comes in through. So tighten these up, not too tight though, because you will strip, strip it. So tight enough to give it a good seal. You've got your thread lock in there as well, your thread tape, which will provide a nice seal as well to stop leakages. A fuel water separation filter is an essential bit of kit to providing your boat with clean fuel and preventing any damage to the engine. Providing the boat is made for the water, it's likely for the water to get caught inside the fuel tank, through your fuel vent or even condensation, contaminating your fuel and then causing problems down the line, like injector failure or even hydro locking. We've got to put our primer in and hook up all our fuel lines. So just before we do that, just going to install that like that. These filters are a cheap insurance and can be purchased from a boat store for around 70 bucks and comes with everything you need to install. What's great about these filters is that it comes with a replaceable filter to change annually or even a service to keep your boat with fresh fuel. Uh, I've done a little bit of research to see uh, if it was better to put the primer before or after the filter. So you want this as close to the fuel tank as possible so you can get that fuel through the filter and into the engine if you have to prime. Now, when you're opening up your primer, you've got your arrow. Make sure that's facing the right way. That's what way your fuel flows. So while I'm putting this together, it's important to use approved fuel lines so it saves yourself having any troubles out in the water. So that's nice and tight now. And then we stick our primer side in, making sure we put a clamp. And then we're just gonna install our one meter onto the outlet of the fuel filter which runs to the engine just like so and that there is our fuel management system so the installment is very straightforward i bolted it under the engine well where it's not going to get smashed by salt water but you want it in a location where it's easy to replace the filters so as you can see here the inlet's coming from the underfloor fuel tank through the primer to the casting where it has an easy to access filter and of course the water drain plug as well. Then from there, it's directly to the engine. See, I knew I'd put this uh, in the floor for a reason. So this is where my oil filter is gonna be living. I have mounted that nice and neatly. Now I have run the oil sensor and the oil to the engine, which connects up to that, which I'll have to do. But there's also an oil return 
um, that I'll have to bring back to the engine, which is something that I am waiting for. So that is a part of the reason why uh, the engine's not gonna be started. But on the other hand, I am gonna install the hatch at the front, the access hatch. So I'm gonna install that and install a few other bits and pieces. All right, so this is what we're installing. It's a little bit dusty from sitting in the other shed, but it is gonna be installed today. Um, as you can see on this side here, you've got yourself screw holes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure, we're just gonna pre-fit it and make sure it all fits well, um, silicon it all up, and then install stainless steel screws. So hopefully it's a nice tug fit. Let's do it. Really happy with that actually. So I'm just gonna put this down, this hatch down, but it fits really nicely. So absolutely stoked with that. Never installed one of these, but here goes nothing. So just like we installed the outboard, we're just gonna use the marine silicon to seal up the hatch to the boat. Uh, and then we're gonna screw it in place with some stainless steel screws. That is facing the right way. I'm just gonna slide it down into position. Looks like I've got enough silicon because it's pushing through the holes. So um, you want this to open up from the front to the back, just like so. So I'll screw these in and let's see how she looks. So the last thing I want to do is just run a bead of silicon on the inside just to make sure I'm not missing anything, but that is as solid as you're going to get it. Beautiful, really happy with that. I'll just clean off the bead of silicon and that is installed. So I'm just filling the gap between the hatch and the edge of the boat just so it gives a nice seal. Then I'm wiping off the excess, giving myself a nice finish. So I just finished siliciking the edge, uh, cleaned it all up, and that is looking really, really nice. So super happy with the outcome, uh, considering we pretty much built that up from nothing. So that's uh, the final product. So I'm just gonna let it dry. I did silicon um, inside the cabin as well, just to make sure that we have got a nice tight seal fit, because you don't want any water going into your cabin when those waves are crashing, catching big jewies. So, Beautiful. Well guys, that's it for another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I was planning to start the engine this episode, but we are waiting on a couple of parts. So I thought why not um, wait and make another video on the fuel water separator filter kit, and of course installing the hatch. So trying to keep you guys up to date as possible. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.